to rival. Dead is the worst player I know. What are you complaining about, Dead? We all know it's true. Dead was cheating our scrims using runes. <laughs> oh yeah, ZX GG runes. Very Rose. Very well played to both teams, sloth blockers and thing. Right. So we now have both banners because uh, you know I actually prepared. <laughs> uh, so let's see what's going on. It looks like the defenders are definitely not sallying out. Um, they have a lot of muskets. They have five sets of muskets. They also have one Falcon A, Philidars. I think Surf Slayers. Surf Slayers might spend four. The attackers obviously have got a lot of anti cavalry because they're just in case going to be set up for a sally out, which isn't going to happen. The defenders don't even have that much cavalry anyway. Maybe like five or six sets. That much. Ballmark, there is no subscriptions, subscription button coming literally in a year. So about June, July 2023, my guy. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. Like literally it will be 2023. You don't need to subscribe anyway, guys. Even when it is so far that I do have a button. The fact that you're here watching is, is good enough for me and we can have, have some lols. We can all laugh together as I destroy people like Hedda for being terrible. You know, the nice things in life. <laughs> Right. Let's see. Let's see what they do. So... They're not selling out. We already knew this from how their units were set up. I don't even think the attackers thought they would anyway. They are moving a few guys towards the, the gate. I think they've realized as well that they're not, not selling out because obviously as soon as you see the heroes, you can see what the enemy team's got. Temple out these pledge streamers these days don't even know who the players are. What do you mean, Temple Art? I know everyone. We all know this. I never make any mistakes. I am a professional. And I am perfect. Don't come to me with, why have you only got nine fingers then, alright? Right? We don't, don't question, don't come to me with your logic, Temple Art, right? To try and discredit me in any way, shape or form. Because I might cry. No one wants to hear that, okay? Please. Be, be kind. <laughs> Treat me. How you've seen me treat others, okay? I think everyone can live with that. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> right, Zenga's gonna be climbing up the back here. Obviously, Polax. No anti CC rune. DK, it looks like Lex and Robert Disable are gonna push over to get rid of him, so DK's definitely seen it. Tara's not going. Interesting. Zenga's not actually gonna climb up anymore, or is he? Nice. So they're getting the Western Tower in by the looks of it. Yeah, so the Tower over here is definitely going to get in. Looks like they're going to get all of them in. I was actually surprised because Falconettes weren't basically taken off. That they didn't just bring a couple of Falconettes and just destroy the towers. I suppose then it's too easy for the, the enemy to just jump up and jump on them and kill them or just treb them off. Still. I, thought, I was looking at it, Mask Flame was on the wrong side, Header. Right, chill. He was definitely on the left-hand side, on no beaches. And I was like, wait, Mas he was on the fucking Surf Slayers, weren't he? And then literally, as I said it, they moved him across. That's why I was confused, because I knew he was on Surf Slayers. Confuse me. Okay, chill. Chill. Why, why are you so mad? It's the game. Best meme. Best. All in it. Right. They're about to have all three of the towers in. Surf Slayers, like, this is what I really like about watching Surf Slayers. Um, a few of, like, really good teams do it as well. They just take their time setting everything up, right? They just poke, they check, they scout. And then when they go, they just they just go all as one. It's fucking glorious to watch. We'll see how... What am I about? It's bloody no beaches that are moving outside. But still, the Surf Slayers do the same. And no beaches do it as well. 
They're on A. Defenders are pulling back. Socialist. Are we going to have another four resets today, Temple? I don't think so. This one's already in, so we're good. <laughs> and your match is later. If you have restarts, I'm blaming you already. You've already called it. He's already, you see this, guys. He's literally already saying he's going to have four restarts at the beginning of the game, right? Try, he's going to try selling it, saying it was an accident, and he's clearly just already planned it. I see. I, I see you, Temple. I just want, to, just want to scout out his enemies, see what units they've got. Try and guess what kind of setup they're going to have. I, I, I see how it is. <laughs> nah, I don't think there'll be any resets. Unless, like, one team forgets with runes or something. And you can't control it. Like, if some guy gets DC'd or something, man, like, there's nothing you can do. Like, you just have to restart. You also rules as, like, the first couple of minutes in the game. If, if uh, people drop out, then you can reset. But if it's, like, too long, then you just have to, they just have to basically log back in as quick as possible. Should be fine. We've got a wedge of no beaches pushing to the side over there. We've got the majority at these stairs here. The attackers do have Falconetti out with Madshin. They've got Shenji's out as well. They've got Namcams, a couple of Claymores, Fort Brachio, Silidars, a Palace Guards as well. The defenders have also got a Falconetti out. They've got Alien as well. They've got a number of Shenji's up and only one Flames for later on in the fight, which is interesting. The attackers also only have one Flames for later. Very strange. Okay. So it looks like they're going to get... Oh, so they've got the Namcam set up at the back here to get shooting already. Falcon is as well to shoot down the... That's actually a really nice placement. This is basically going to force the defenders to pull back into these zones where they can't get hit by the Falcon. Otherwise, they're just going to start hemorrhaging troops like mad. Obviously, if they would stay here and take a fight down at the bottom of the stairs when these guys move down, they're just, just going to get CC'd to death. They need to be careful though if they're not on a horse. If the attackers have got a mole, they don't actually have a single mole though, do they? Oh yeah, they have Clapper Drogon. He must be over there though. Oh no, he's in the middle here. There he is, Clapper Drogon. But you need to stay, especially if an enemy team's got multiple moles, you need to be very careful when you actually jump off or not. So instinct side to mask flames. Where was that? Jackie Trin's up on the wall. Where's mask flames? Didn't even. Oh, he was in the back lines here. Mask Flames must have just killed him back here somewhere. Interesting. But the attackers have got time, man. They've still got 8 minutes 30. They don't need a rush. They've obviously not done that much damage to the defenders so far, so they can't just afford the city if, like, for days and not do anything. That Madshin's trying to get another another good filing angle off on his Falconettis. That's maybe good. That push shooting it. There it goes. That's good. They're just baiting and making him push here. Take a little bit of extra damage. This fight on the stairs could be tasty for the defenders. The problem is though, if they push too far back, too far up, sorry, this can be trip. Surf Slayers are very aggressive on the defense. Like they sometimes just decide instead of waiting, let's take a fight that we want to take. Let's try and push in, get damage done. Oh, they're on B though. Cheeky instinct on there with his cavalry as well. Very nicely played. The Mask Flames and Jackie Trin are going to try jumping on this now. Instinct could just send his cavalry though to try and stop him. Instinct has ba -ba -ba, cataphracts as well. Didn't manage to kill any of the heroes there, unfortunately. The defenders have dropped free though. Good trip coming in now. Is that mainly on their own dudes though? Oh no, there's a. I think it was a good trip. I don't know if they killed many of their team, but it was definitely in the thick of the fighting. The general reap's gonna get the resupply to stop the defenders from resupplying. Machin's down there with him as well. Machin's obviously just got his falconetes up on the wall here that are still shooting in the same area. This fight's kind of... There's definitely been won by the attackers. There's still a few of the defenders trying to push up there, but they're, they're going to get ruined. Shenji bombs coming in, CC in a lot of it. Um, they've managed to get the supply down here. Socialist hippies just died as well, so now they can get new units out. Um, the attackers have done fairly well so far. They've lost more units than the defenders. But I think hero kills-wise, they're definitely doing better so far. I'm just zooming out to see what's going on here. I didn't obviously I completely ignore the fight on this side, but you can't concentrate on two fights at once when there's something going on. And that was the smaller fight. The defenders definitely won that one. They just need to stop them, slow them down so they can't get the units out as quick. Now you've got General Reap pushing onto the B point with cavalry. Espons are coming in behind with Halberdier Sergeant. Espons, yeah, Halberdier Sergeant. Okay. Right. We've got a number of the attackers here getting cavalry out. Obviously, how this the assignment's a second ago. They've got Zakalian down here as well. You need to be careful with Kara in the back here. 
Dark Flames pushing through with a cavalry. That's Armagers. He's actually got through fairly well. He's been chased by Cataphracts though, so his unit's gone. He's just put jumping into the back of the units here. This is a good fight for the defenders. Surf Slayer's absolutely rotating the balls off this so far. Definitely winning units-wise as well. Decent idea to treb there. I don't think it did too much damage to the defenders. Robert Disable coming in through here. He's got Cataphracts out. They're going to run straight through all of that. They, the White Sheen means they get their extra defense stuff as well. And Surf Slayer's collapsing on no beaches at the gate as well. Pushing him out of the city again. Very nicely done. Those are Kaylee. work. Right, I'm going to very quickly check hero deaths. Ooh, game on it. So it's 10-14, so it's very close so far. The so 14 heroes killed for the defenders and 10 for the attackers. Not being that one-sided. Unit-wise, 500 dead for the attackers to 361 of the defenders. So that's very nicely done. It's like the defenders have decided to take the Eastern Resupply back off the attackers as well. They're going to have a, de a blocking force down here just to make sure they can't push down too quickly. They've got a good presence on the gatehouse still. This fight here could be rough though. JQ jumping straight in there, blocking some of the units. Ooh, the Kalians got these flames need to die. If Surf Slayers want to survive this fight, these flames need to die and they need to die as quick as possible. They're getting the supply back here though. Ayoku's jumped down as well. I think he wanted to do, uh, get up with the point, but that's pointless. He's not going to be able to do anything there. Especially when not with so many units. The defenders have just cleared up though. So they must have jumped in. Obviously Mystics are zoomed out and cleared out the flames there. Because it's only the defending flames that are still actually firing. From dark flames as well. Very apt. What did the attack uh, the, the attackers sorry? What the defenders need to jump. Yeah, there we go. Dark flames, Kara, and all the other heroes are jumping straight on these Falconators. That's gonna be an easy, easy pickup. They've only there with heroes as well, so Trebs are not likely to actually kill anything. Yeah, the units got stopped, the ones that were coming up anyway, so very nicely done for the defender. It's very scrappy, this fight, but so far, Surf Slayers, man, are absolutely rocking, rocking this defense, man. Like, their rotations are so nicely timed that even though it looks like they're going to take a fight that they might lose because they're outnumbered, they just seem to rotate. They're just, like, almost perfectly when they're needed. So, the attackers now are starting to run out of infantry so they're gonna have to come through the gate with cavalry with cavalry which is gonna be rough especially because they don't have any of the resupplies where they can maybe jump over get cavalry and then go into the fight There's only three minutes left of this match if the defenders can still hold b which it looks like they're gonna be able to do they've got a set of shenjis out they've got zikalian out they do have flames from dark flames as well so they've got the good units man a very big chunk of the attacking forces is all cavalry so they have to come through the gate the defenders have already seen that as well. That's why they have so many Fort Abrachio just absolutely plugging that doorway. Um, even if the attackers push down with all infantry from this side, the cavalry can't do anything because of this here. And the defenders still have a good wedge of units. And they've got such a short distance to rotate. Apologies. If they push to the bottom of the stairs and beat them, then it's going to be fine. Well, it should be fine for them. Like, I can't see Surf Slayers losing this now. I think the attackers maybe need 30 seconds on B to take it, but they've got 500 units to the defenders 700. It's going to be it's going to be a hard ask, man. No beaches to get this now. So they managed to close the gate again as well, so they have to wait for the, the, the ram. I didn't even see that, so that slowed them down even further. Obviously, five sets of cavalry through this, am this amount of Fort Abrachio is just not going to work. Um... Kaylin as well to bomb them and stuff. So here comes the big main push here. I'm going to keep an eye on the gatehouse as well to see when the cavalry starts coming through. So Gweed's going to come through from the side here. He's probably got cataphracts turned on. Gweed doesn't have cataphracts turned on. The defenders have just crushed this though. Absolutely crushed that fight there. Now the cavalry's going to start coming through the gate. But with that much Fort Abrachios in there, this it's going to be rough to get through. They actually got fairly decent through. Cataphracts are coming through the side here now as well. Heroes try to block it though. Ooh, that was actually a good charge from the de from the attackers. They still haven't won though. They've, they've dropped like two thirds of their team. The defenders have only dropped three players. The attackers now now only have three players. Rough. Not quite enough infantry there for that for that last push. Obviously the 
no beaches would have assumed that they would have been able to take A and B. They would have had a spawn point inside the city. At that point, then they would have had resupply as well, and they'd have had a lot of cavalry for the end point, which is a good shout. But Surf Slayers just just rotate so goddamn well, man. They're so aggressive with their defense as well. I really like seeing that when they just decided, like here, to push up the stairs. It's like instead of waiting for them to get the perfect setup on us, let's charge up, fight them here, which they won as well. They cleared the fight out here. They obviously lost a decent amount of units doing it. But just shutting off this one full attack, they like no beaches had to react to it. Then they had to try pushing in in places that they maybe didn't want to, um, getting caught out of a position where they obviously didn't want to. <laughs> um, very nicely done from Surf Slayers, man. Very nicely done. I'm gonna be interested. It's gonna be interesting to see how Surf Slayers decide to attack, and if no beaches decide do anything crazy on the defense. Sallying out on this map though can be difficult because the, the attackers do spawn fairly close to the point. Most teams do expect to sally out nowadays as well, so you've always got a player that's basically assigned to have a treb already aimed at the gate, so as soon as the gate starts opening, the treb starts landing. And you always have guys run into the gate with like Fort Brachios and Medals, so I doubt there'll be a sally out, but we'll see what they do, man. So for the attackers, go stacks with the MVP. Three deaths for the majority. We've got a couple of Mad Shin on two and General Reap on two and Hammock on two. Everyone else on the attacking team, three or more. So towards the end, the the, the hero disparity was definitely goddamn huge there. Kara MVP for the defenders, 6 11 107. Very nicely done. Five flames as well, absolutely huge. 37 cataphracts. So Kara must have had the thought of Brachios at the gate at the end there. Um, 59 Fort Abracchio for Derevni. Apparently, he doesn't like Fort Abracchio. Six Falconetti for, for Lex as well. So, Lex must have been one of the guys I think that run up the stairs towards the end and got rid of those Falconetti that were on the top. Very nicely done. Jackie Trin as well. Extremely good. That's for a lot of the players on the defending. Very, very nicely done, boys. That was nice. Watch it. 18 to Fort Fort. So, you can see here on the initial push. More of the blue teams, that's the attackers died. On every single push, actually, the blue team died more. Obviously, this last one was ridiculous. By that point, though, um, they were on a lot worse quality units on the third push. The attackers had... It was all cavalry, basically. They had too much cavalry to go through the gate. The defenders had the, the, a perfect setup to stop cavalry, so they were always going to lose that fight. That was just, just tough, man. The attackers clearly thought they would be able to get further into the city by the time they had so much cavalry. And cavalry on the end point, because you can hit it from four different directions, is actually huge. Very good fight though. GG to Surf Slayers. Let's see what happens on the second round, my boys. And Shizu Shizui. I probably just destroyed your name and I apologize, but thank you very much for.